What's up, everyone? Happy we get to do this live stream today. Today we got a hard we, we got we got a we got a hard stop in an hour. So let's just vibe out today and make some really great music. Okay, cool. So let's go through some drum loops right here. I'm gonna go through some random libraries here and let's see let's see what vibes we got. I love that. I'm gonna throw this in. I'm gonna throw Looperator on it. And this is gonna just mess it up a little bit. And all I'm doing, y'all, is I'm just browsing through presets at this moment. Let me quickly throw an L2 on my master bus here. Just don't want. If we can prevent peaking, why not? Just for the stream. I love this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sample that right now. So I'm gonna make a new audio track and I'm gonna select the input to that drum loop and let's hit record. Cool. So now we captured all that. Let's throw this into um, sampler or simpler, and let's just uh, let's chop it up. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna put up. I'm gonna put it on slice. I'm gonna put the slice by beat, and let's go through some of these notes and see. Let's increase the division just a little bit wider so we can get more length in these little samples. Cool. Let's grab this for a second. I'm going to switch it back. Cool. I duplicated it. Now on the new on the new simpler track that's fresh. So what I just did is I duplicated it four times. I deleted the last time. I want that last on the fourth bar. I want. I don't want that that new snare we just added. Now let's let's duplicate this track one more time, and uh, let's add another layer to this now with all of the sounds that we just sampled off of that loop and looperator. Let's capture that, and now let's tell Ableton to loop the right part here. Cool. Let's now take off the click track and let's see if we can sneak in another another sample, another layer to this pattern. Phenomenal. Let's let's see what other samples we got in this loop pack. That's crazy. Let's see that. Something like that. But what we're going to do is, right now the loop is currently every four bars, but we're going to extend this loop for a total of eight. And that big kick is going to come in at the end of the eighth bar. So doing this kind of arrangement with your sounds and your loops just helps keep everything sound fresh, 
a little bit more interesting. You get a little bit more variation. Okay, so we doubled everything twice. Um, just in case we wanted to do any further edits within this 8-bar loop. And then let's double this to 8 bars. Let's remove it the first time it hits, so it only plays the second time. Perfect. Let's go through some more sample packs here. Let's pull up Paragon Vocals from Mick Schultz, and let's, uh, let's see if we can find anything that sounds crazy. <laughs> okay, first one, there we go. Let's throw it in here. And now what we're gonna do is, it's a little bit, uh, you know, it has all the frequencies in there, but we really just want to make this a little bit smaller. So I'm going to use Volcano here, and I'm, I'm going to roll off pretty much all the low end. Let's see how this sounds. Okay, cool. Let's add a modulation here on Volcano, because I like when it starts really thin, and then I like when it just gets a little bit more full bodied. And so we're gonna easily do that using the XLFO here. We're gonna program it just like that. And um, probably every four bars. And we're gonna switch this balance knob so that it acts like a, a, a sawtooth in terms of the automation. Now let's hit play and see if this is right. And we're gonna have to inverse it. All right, what we're gonna do now is, this loop is a four bar loop, but let's increase it to eight. And what we're gonna do is, let's just have these breaths start on the second half of the loop. So for the last four bars of this eight bar loop. And so I just did that right at the bottom, as you guys can see, I moved the start knob over, and on the left hand side on length, I increased that to eight bars. So let's hit play right now and see how this sounds. Phenomenal. But what we are going to do is, it comes in a little strong, so let's automate the gain on the clip. So as you guys can see here, let's do 0 to 100. Let's see how that sounds. Cool. I think it should be turned up a little bit more. We just want a little, a little bit more of that breath. And also, it would be really awesome to have a nice verb at the end of that. So let's turn up this Pro R. Let's go to 10 seconds. And let's just leave it exactly as it is. Just is. We've just maxed it out to 10 seconds. Now let's double click this clip here at the top. And what we're gonna do is um, we're, gonna, we're gonna throw this Pro R into a group and then we're gonna create a dry and wet signal. And on the signal with the verb, we're gonna throw utility in and we're gonna do it before the verb, and we're gonna right click on here and say show automation. And now we primarily want the automation for this verb to go kind of something like this. Maybe we come in full strength right on this last one. Let's see how that sounds. That's what's up. Crazy. Let's move on now and keep building. There's another vocal loop here. Let's keep going through some of these loops and see what sticks out. Okay. Okay, let's use that as a little texture in the back. Let's see if we throw that into simpler, if we can catch a groove that is a little bit more locked into what we're currently making. Done. 
That's what's up. All right, let's try to lock this in a little bit. We're going to quantize, but we're not going to go 100%. As you guys know, 100%'s really boring. You got to always don't quant don't over I I highly recommend if I had to throw something out there to everyone, don't quantize to 100. Do anything but 100%. All right, let's keep going. Sick. We're definitely going to use this, but just we're going to use just the one hit of it. All right, let's throw a plug in on this now. We Let's try Sign Vibes and let's try Blend 2. And we just want this sample that we just were messing with. I, I'm hearing it just being not centered. I want it to be kind of chorusy. So let's mess with this and see how we can get that to kind of stand out a little bit more. Okay, so we, we, we got enough, we got enough of a groove, we got enough of a vibe. Let's now start decorating what the melody would be doing. I'm just gonna go all on the categories here on the synth and just gonna scroll and hit one. Let's see what comes up. Crazy. Fire. Let's record that. And then we can chop it up a little bit after. Something like that. So let's grab simpler. So what, let's do this. Let's throw a delay on this ARP. Let's try to do something like this, maybe. Something just like that. Now you see how the delay, it gives us a little bit more dynamics. Don't get me wrong, I really love the live ARP fast sound, but there's a, lot of, there's a lot going on in here. And so a part of me just feels like if we just keep it a little bit more simple on the initial hit, the delay can kind of carry us through dynamically, bring everything a little bit, keep it moving, but obviously start to fade. Now, let's try to do a bass. Now I'm going to throw Pro G on it and I'm going to use Pro G to side chain against the kick energy, which on the drum side, everything except the kick track has all the low end information rolled out. So we're really just reserving that for this kick. Okay. So now we're going to go here on Pro G. We're going to go to expert and we're going to hit side chain to external and let's move the left and the right chain levels all the way to their corresponding side. This allows the gate to side chain in a little bit more of a stereo way, which I love to do. This is why I love FabFilter and Pro-G so much is because you get to have 
the flexibility to do really cool things like this. Okay, let's see. And then we got to set this to ducking. Let's move the release down. All this is good. Let's hit play. Okay, let's also throw uh, Unison's Mangler on this. We're going to throw it before the gate. And we're going to do this just to drive the bass even a little bit more. This plugin is so great. If you guys haven't got a chance, highly recommend it. <laughs> Yo, this stream was so fun today, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed the stream today, too. And um, I really love this vibe. This is crazy. And, uh, and shit, let's play this one more time. Wow, this sounds crazy.